YouTube. What's happening? It's your guy, not your average trucker. Shout out to the Sway Filet. Fun fact, man. First job I ever had when I was 15 was at a damn Chick-fil-A. How about that? Back at it with another video. I'm actually out here at a freaking Walmart store delivering the load of shopping carts. Yeah, you know I mean, another day, another dollar. I ain't shot a video in a minute. Figured out how to let the people, you understand? See what's going on in the world. As always, nothing going on with me. You know, cold as, cold as hell outside. As always, we gotta give a shout out to these Panthers, boy. But like I said, man, I'm out here in Sanford, North Carolina, delivering a load of shopping carts. I just got uh, just got through talking to one of my drivers, <laughs> and it was funny. He was asking me a question. He was like, "Yo, man, I actually got him, uh, you know, doing them Amazon Solo ones." And he was like, "Look, man, you ever get burnt out with trucking?" And I start laughing. I'm like, of course. I get burnt out with everything. You understand? You know, just like anybody else, man, you do something repeatedly, day in, day out. You know, it can get redundant. And it can get annoying. And I told him, I'm like, yo, I know exactly how you feel because, you know, when I do Amazon, it's like, you know, I made a video about it and had a million people saying I was a crybaby for whining so much I should be happy to, to make easy bread. But like I told you, man, sometimes you can't put a price on time, man. Your time is valuable. And then some certain things annoy you, man. Like, you know, you showing up to Amazon all the time. They got everything in your little app. So, <laughs> you know, before you get there that your trailer's in dock door 151 and you dropping your uh, empty trailer off in parking spot 307 yet yeah. you gotta wait in line and sit there and talk to those silly uh people at the guard shack even though it's covid so you know some of these spots they give you a number to call to check in some of these spots give you a number to text to check in some of these spots you know talk to you from the window needless to say it's no person to person interaction and you got an app capable of giving you all of your information yet yeah. They want you to cut your damn truck off. <laughs> and that shit could be annoying, especially if it's cold outside. Or if you're in an old truck. Just, I don't know, man. But needless to say, me and him end up talking, having a conversation about, you know, whether you get burnt out in trucking. And on so many levels, absolutely. You understand? Yo, how long ago was it I made that video? Shout out to Trump, yo. Shout out to the Trump pen sign, where it's born. It's, how long ago was the election? But how long ago I made that video, man, about my man up in the bushes? Did they get him out? Did they get him out? Let's see. Let's see what we got. Hold it. Oh, no, nah, they still ain't got that thing out of there. I know some of y'all said, man, it's probably the property owner, and he backed it down there somehow. And uh, I don't, you know, I don't know that to be the case. But oh, this, this thing has been here for a while, man. It's been several months. Yo, I can't believe they still ain't got this thing up, man. You know, I got people saying, yo, they probably, uh, they probably doing that Method Man up in there. Look at it. This is a different angle. That's a different angle of the thing. I don't know, man. I, I have a hard time believing. I have a hard time believing. That somebody back down that hill. They braver than me. You know? I don't know. It looked like a natural disaster or something to me, but... I'm just a truck driver, man. What do I know? I know you can't go that way, though. 
<laughs> Word up. Shout out to nature. I think I definitely noticed though, during this whole Trump situation, past five years, I ain't never seen a Trump flag on a nice house. Never. And I get it, you know, most of us that live in nice neighborhoods, we got homeowners associations and all that. They don't let you put up, you know, political uh, political signs, political flags. So maybe that's the case. I just know when I'm out here in the road, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, when I see a Trump flag on a house, it's always a trailer. It's always some shack looking of a house. I ain't never seen a nice all brick house with a nice landscape <laughs> with a Trump flag ever. But hey, 75 or 76 million people voted for him. All of them couldn't have been living in hoopties. So I get it. But anyway, to finish my point, shout out to my grandma. To finish my point in reference to uh, being burnt out, happens man definitely happens to me shout out to the baby dolls man you got kids they leave their stuff all over the place shout out to nba jam but anyway regardless of your profession if you do something every day you get tired of doing it you know you can't tell me that even though tom brady just won the super bowl this year it's not days where he's uh burnt out with practice or burnt out with getting sacked or LeBron ain't burnt out with hooping. It definitely happens, man. You know, question is, how do you, how do you overcome that? Cause there's plenty of days my alarm go off and you know, I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> you understand? You know, alarm go off and you like, man, come on, not today. I ain't even in the mood. Cause I tell you, you know, uh, the number one way I know I'm getting burnt out is I'm like the king of road rage right now. Like, oh, man, <laughs> driving is getting difficult for me for that purpose, man. You know, I keep my truck or all my trucks uh, that my drivers drive. I got them maxed out at 71 miles an hour, might be 72. But the truck I drive, I keep it wide open so I can do whatever I need to do. And the thing that drives me beyond insane is when you're on a two-lane highway or a three-lane highway and you got these company drivers, their trucks is governed at 65. But for some reason, somebody got the bright idea to be in the middle freaking lane trying to pass another dude that's doing 65 in the right lane. That shit drives me insane, you know. And it's always because most of the time I'm in North Carolina. And uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and on 85, 77, they got signs that say, no trucks in the left lane. You understand? So sometimes I end up stuck behind these doofuses that can only do 65, and I just say, forget it, man. I go in the left lane. I ain't supposed to be over there just to pass them. And it just boggles my mind, man. And I just don't get it. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You got to do what you got to do to take care of your family. So when you burnt out, for me, I got burnt out personally with doing Amazon, which is why I rarely do Amazon now. I, you know, I just assign it to my drivers. I don't even bother because, you know, unless I got a guy call out or if I'm down the driver for whatever reason. Or there's, a you know, rare occasions where uh, I got a, a little alert set up for the little Amazon load boy. Sometimes they have ridiculous loads that pop up, be $1,500 to go from Charlotte to freaking Columbia or something for absolutely no reason. I might book one of those and knock that out. But for the most part, I can't stand uh, doing Amazon anymore. <laughs> I burnt out. I was burnt out last year with Amazon, man. I just, the employees just annoyed me to no end, man. So I just can't do it. But driving as a whole is just starting to uh, starting to get to me, dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't even drive every day. And it's just, you know, 
So I, I feel I feel my man when he's like, yo, does does it ever get you know, do you ever get burnt out? Yeah, I've been trying to make this video all day, bro. Look at that. But anyway, man, to try to wrap this up, I had a lot of things I wanted to say, man. I kept getting distracted and getting phone calls. Needless to say, man, for all you people out there getting burnt out with whatever your profession is, i.e. driving, most important thing you do is to remember why you're doing what you do. You understand? Obviously, you're doing it to take care of your family, to pay the bills, to level up, all of that. And that's what that's what's going to motivate you to keep going. You understand? A lot of times you got to switch it up. Like that driver, you know, he's been doing Amazon for me for a couple years. So I'm going to put him back on just some random local stuff just to switch it up. Give him a, a change of pace because sometimes that's what you need. But, you know, it happens to us all, man. You know, I get burnt out with pretty much every aspect of the things I do. From flipping houses to uh, driving trucks. Because sometimes, you know, like I said before, you know, alarm go off and you asking yourself why you getting up when you don't have to. But that's not the plight of every man out there. But it is what it is. Shout, Shout out to Bill Russell. Shout out to Bill Russell. 87. That's what I'm talking about. But anyway, you think Bill Russell ain't never get... You know, <laughs> uh, tired of freaking hooping, or Bill Russell ain't get tired of the BS, or burnt out for the you know the BS because they won't they was playing for peanuts back then. But anyway, man, shout out to everybody checking me out. I'll try to be uh, more on topic next time. Um, I ain't never hear from my man in reference to uh, the topic he wanted to discuss so you know i guess that's a wrap but for oh eat. that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about but y'all be easy not your average trucker you heard <laughs>